This here is a cartoon I put together to help the clinician recognize that certain toxins are known to have specific odors. Regarding the cyanide, it's reported to have a smell like bitter almonds. The water hemlock plant is reported to have a smell very similar to carrots. Chemicals such as sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and the antidote, N-acetylcysteine, that's used for Tylenol toxicity, is reported to have a smell like rotten eggs, and that's because of the sulfur group. Here, moth repellents, or in our little cartoon as we drew them, mothballs, have a smell that's specific of either naphthalene or camphor, depending on what the moth repellent is made of. The wintergreen oil, or oil of wintergreen, which is very high in salicylic acid, has a wintergreen smell to it, and that's methyl salicylate. It's reported that chloral hydrate smells like fresh pears. Certain organophosphates, arsenic, and selenium are reported to smell like garlic. There's a specific type of rat poison known as vacor that has an odor very reminiscent of peanut butter. And lastly, we drew here marijuana, which tends to smell like marijuana. It's interesting to note with the medicinal marijuana and the states that have now legalized recreational marijuana, there has been an uptick of calls to the poison control center and children presenting to the emergency room with accidental ingestion of marijuana products, specifically the edibles, because these chemicals and products have such a higher THC concentration than many other marijuanas available that we're seeing some interesting reactions to marijuana overdose, including nausea and vomiting, and in some cases, specifically with infants and toddlers, can cause extreme somnolence and coma-like presentations until the marijuana itself metabolizes.